Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. So before we get started, if you're enjoying the knowledge nuggets I'm dropping in my shows and just digging what I'm screaming here, then make sure you smash that like button and subscribe and spread the word to all your friends about the best wine show anywhere. All right. So uh, what we're going to do today, we've got another Bordeaux. And again, this was uh, donated or given to me by my friend who works for the importer or slash distributor for this. So this is the 2017, 2017 Chateau Tour Saint Christophe. It is a Saint Emilion Grand Cru. I'm really excited about doing this. I love Saint Emilion. Actually, I just really love anything from Bordeaux. So let's get into some background while, again, I show you some really cool Google Earth footage. All right, so um, now, like I said, this wine is Chateau Tour Saint Christophe, not to be confused with Chateau Saint Saint Christophe, yes, two wineries with almost the same name. And I actually was starting to research the second one uh, when I realized that I was doing the wrong one. All right, since winery is owned by Peter Kwok, a native of Vietnam, he was drawn to French culture. Vietnam was once a French colony, so that's not surprising that French culture would have had, had an influence on him. So prior to purchasing the winery, he was a banker and also chairman of the CITC Resources Holding Limited. He bought his first property, Au Prison, in 1997. He bought Chateau Tour Saint Christophe in 2012 from the Castel Group. Peter currently owns seven wineries in Bordeaux under the name Vinobles K. Chateau Tour Saint Christophe is located in the commune of Saint Christophe des Bards of Saint Emilion. It was originally 6.5 hectares and has grown to now 20 hectares. The vineyard is planted to 80% Merlot and 20% Cabernet Franc. This is a very common mixture on the right bank as clay soils are not favored by Cabernet Sauvignon. It doesn't really like wet feet, but Merlot is perfectly happy being in the soil that retains water. The average age of the vines is 30 years. The vineyard has an unusual feature for Bordeaux and that is partially planted on terraces. Here are the stats for the wine. The 2017 Chateau Tour Saint Christophe Saint Emilion Grand Cru. So just a retail price around $33. 80% Merlot, 20% Cabernet Franc. The soil is a clay limestone soil. The wine is fermented in plot-specific vats, about 75% of it. The remaining 25% go into barrel uh, instead. It's aged for 15 months in French oak. 40% is new, 40% is first use, and 20% is second use. Production is 45,000 bottles. All right, so now let's get into the wine. Very happy that I got some Bordeaux to review. It's been a minute since I've done anything, at least on camera, with Bordeaux. Like I mentioned in my last review, I've got some Bordeaux, but most of them have a little bit of age on it. I, mean, so I have some that are, I think I still have some from the 90s, but I definitely have some from the early 2000s and are earlier this decade or earlier or from last decade. All righty. Cool. So in a contrast to the previous episodes wine, uh, you know, this one, the Dorlac, Doriac, Dor Doriac. Um, this one really kind of leads with really a riper red fruit, like a, 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 a raspberry, but there's also some black fruit. And, and the vanilla and chocolate really kind of comes through on it. It's like almost like a milk chocolate. Kind of a dark cherry, like a chocolate covered cherry. And chocolate covered raspberry, blackberry. Got some vanilla. Got a little sweet spice going on here. Pretty sure I didn't mention the alcohol on this one either. So I'm just going to double check my notes real quick. 
Yeah, did not put. The, that's just because the stats, the, the stat sheet didn't put the alcohol on it. But it's fourteen five. You can kind of smell the alcohol. A little kind of green tobacco. I mean, you can smell wood. You can smell the oak influence and all that. Let's go ahead and taste it. This one is absolutely delicious. It's kind of mouth-watering delicious. It's really lush. It's the Merlot is 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 absolutely the star of the show. I mean, it's 80% Merlot. The 20% Cabernet Franc um, is going to give you a little bit of that greenness, a little bit of that grip and bite. Whereas the Merlot is giving you that silky and really luscious quality. This is it's funny because you have a lot of people that go, I don't like Merlot, but then you give them a Bordeaux, especially a right bank Bordeaux, especially Saint Emilion, and they just fall in love with it. And I'm like, you know, you're drinking Merlot, right? I mean, mostly Merlot. Technically, this could be called a Merlot in most parts of the United States, as long as it wasn't like an Appalachian specific, like Napa Valley, but it could say, but it could be like California Merlot, right? I think it'd be Napa County and still count. Now, I think it's, I can't think it would be like say North Coast or California, as far as California is concerned. Anyway, um, it tastes really good. There's a touch of green to it, a little bit of fern. Not really like that bell pepper or jalapeno that you can get from, especially Cabernet Franc and especially from this area. Granted, it's a 14.5% alcohol wine. So very likely most of that pyrazinic quality, it was ripened out anyway, not on purpose necessarily, but that was just the reality of it is that um, those qualities aren't gonna be really there, but you still get this kind of dry greenness out of it. touch of like blackberry pie. Hmm. A little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of red hot in there. It really coats the mouth. You do get the tanning, you do get the drying uh, you do get that dryness from it, like where, where it's drying your mouth out, but it's a little broader. It's not as focused as the last one I did. A little broader. It's a really, really nice wine. I mean, there's a reason why it's in the $30 range, not the $15 range. Really delicious. Cool. Very nice. I like it a lot. So if you, if you can find this, buy it. All right, so that's going to be today's show. So again, if you're enjoying what I'm doing here, uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and then tell your friends. And until next time.